Hello, in this screencast we're going to take a quick look at Text Expander from smileonmymac.com. Text Expander is a very useful utility for OS X which lets you use customized abbreviations to insert frequently used text, strings and images. You can go to smileonmymac.com slash text expander and download a free trial. Once that's downloaded and you've copied it to your applications folder, simply double click to launch Text Expander. Okay, so here's the main Text Expander screen, and as you can see, by default it comes with a few examples to insert the date, a sample address, a sample picture, the time, and a sample email signature. Let's take a look at them now. I'm going to open Text Edit to demonstrate these abbreviations. Okay. So on the left, we can see that under text expander snippets, we've got an abbreviation D date that will insert the current date. So let's type D date. There we go. Let's try the address and the picture and the time and the email signature. See how simple that is? Now let's look at editing the default ones and making our own. Okay, let's look at changing the date one first because that will be the simplest one to start with. In this, it's just plain text, so we'll click in the window, select the text, and type a new address. Now that's done, it'll insert the text. So I'm going to switch to text edit, type H, home. There we go. Let's say we didn't want H home to be the abbreviation for our address. Down at the bottom of the screen, you can see abbreviation is H home, and that can be case sensitive, ignore case, or adapt to your case of abbreviation but for the moment we'll leave it a case sensitive and we'll change it to w work for our work address so let's switch to text edit again there you go okay we're going to change the date to a different format perhaps we don't like the one that it comes with by default. To do that, we're gonna click in. I've already deleted the date that was already in there. And we're gonna go down and click here. And we're gonna select date. I'm gonna have the full day. And then I'm gonna separate it with a backslash. I'm gonna click here again. And then we're gonna have the year, full year. And then I'm gonna another backslash and I'm going to have the full year. So we've got full day, full month, full year. Let's have a look at that one in text edit. Now let's say I don't like that and I want to change the backslashes to spaces. Well, back into text edit. Get rid of the slashes. Okay, we're going to try that again. That's better. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to take a look at inserting a picture. Now, there's already a picture snippet by default with Text Expander, but we're going to ignore that one. In fact, we're going to delete it and recreate it. So, we're going to click delete. We're going to select it. Click delete. It's going to warn you, you can't undo it. Right, it's deleted. So to insert a new one, I'm going to go to the bottom left hand corner of the text expander window and click the plus and new snippet. And this is empty. So we're going to change this to formatted text and pictures. We're going to call it cat logo and it's going to be CC app is our abbreviation. Okay. Here's some pictures I've got in Finder. Now I'm going to take this picture of a cat on the sign, drag it and drop it in there. Just get that out of the way now. 
Okay, so we try this one out. There you go. Nice and simple. Text Expander comes with some additional built-in snippets that you can install by going to the file menu, add predefined group, and you can pick one of these. For example, we'll look at the HTML snippets here, which adds a new group. And here you can see it adds all the common HTML types. So for AREF is comma A for body, common body, and so on, and so forth. You've got uh, accented words, autocorrect snippets for correcting common spelling mistakes, CSS, and so on. We'll look at this and how to add your own groups and how to download snippets from the internet in a future screencast. Thank you for watching.